The real issue is, whose side are you on? I hope that all the girls in this class understand that you, just as much as the boys, have a right to become president. Senator Elizabeth Warren said in a statement on Monday that fellow presidential hopeful Senator Bernie Sanders told her in a private meeting in 2018 that a woman could not win the White House. And one of the very important things, I hope that all the girls in this class understand that you, just as much as the boys, have a right to become president. The real issue is not whether you're black or white, whether you're a woman or a man. In my view, a woman could be elected president of the United States. This entire situation is so incredibly disappointing and also incredibly stupid. Bernie Sanders encouraged Elizabeth Warren to run back in 2016. And there are multiple videos of Bernie Sanders dating back to the 1980s where he publicly spoke about how he believes a woman can win. And so all of this contextual information is incredibly important to the conversation. And unfortunately, it's being left out to paint a particular candidate as some sort of sexist yep. when the facts just don't bear that out. Well, we don't know what the facts are because Elizabeth Warren says... We do, though. But he we said... Do. We but have we... evidence of... No, How do we she know he said, said it? No, no, no. I don't, I don't know. I don't... A particular candidate as some sort of sexist yep. when the... I would love to see anyone in the media hold Joe Biden accountable for literally saying the exact same thing publicly. No criticism, no backlash, none. Elizabeth Warren was doing fabulously well in the polling when she was positioning herself as a strong progressive. Right. I think the reason why she noticed a dip in the polls, and if you just go back to the timing of all of this, it was after she put out her transition plan for Medicare for right. All. That transition plan made it abundantly clear that she was not actually going to push for Medicare for All. She was really going to push for a public option. Then you see this dip in the poll, right? Mm -hmm. Now, my problem with Elizabeth Warren is that rather than acknowledging the flaw in her tactic there and changing course, she has decided to bring up a conversation conversation that she had with Bernie Sanders in December of 2018 when he notices a significant rise in the polls. Like, the American people aren't stupid. They notice what's going on. They notice that she's bringing this up at a time when her campaign is really struggling. Now, now, I think it's a bad move on her point. I don't want to I think she should focus on policy. I, I was disappointed to hear that Bernie is sending his volunteers out to trash me. Bernie knows me and has known me for a long time. I got to tell you, I think this is a little bit of a media blow up that kind of wants conflict. Uh, Elizabeth Warren is a very good friend of mine. You have heard me give many speeches. Have I ever said one negative word about Elizabeth Warren? So I hope that the girls will think that they have the right to be involved in politics quite as much as the boys do. It's beginning to change, but it's not changing fast enough. I don't get the Liz Warren hate on the left. I mean, other than her imperialist foreign policy, unflinching support for Israel, pledged to take dark money in the general, rejection of Medicare for all, and flourishing relationships with corporatists like the Clintons, I think she's awesome. Okay, fine, she passes a native to get a job and had no problem with Harvard Law calling her the first woman of color hire. Other than that, she's awesome. Oh wait, she didn't endorse Bernie in 2016 either, that was kind of awkward. Other than that though, she's pretty awesome. Fuck, I just remembered she voted for Trump's military budget increases twice. What? She gave Trump a standing ovation when he said America would never be a socialist country? That's not very progressive. It's in your hands. extraordinary things.
real issue is whose side are you on? Are you on the side of workers and poor people, or are you on the side of big money and the corporations? 